Today we're gonna try to attach the bar for the foot pegs. What's up guys, welcome back to another video and it is mighty cold in this workshop. It is 5 degrees C, I already put on the heater. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a lot of work but I want to get this bar in so we can go on with the next step and that is mounting the exhaust. I have to get the bar in for the foot pegs to see where I can mount the exhaust. Now speaking of the exhaust, the owner contacted me. He watches the videos. He wants to see the progress on the bike. He also wants to hear it. We're all really excited about that. And he told me, hey, the Leo Vinci bracket that you have isn't for that exhaust. He looked it up and it's this exhaust right here. It is a Melossi exhaust. So not a Leo Vinci, but a Melossi. But we're still gonna use the Leo Vinci bracket because it is a custom made exhaust by me. So yeah, what brand it's on there, I don't really care. If it's Leo Vinci on that, it's okay. And it's a nice aluminum piece, so I want that on the bike. But yeah, today we're gonna install the foot peg bar, which I have right here. This is the bar that I have. This is the correct length that I want for the foot pegs. Now, of course, with the foot peg that we got, let me get those. This is one of the foot pegs that we're gonna attach. This is what is going on the bike. It has to be cut down. So it's gonna be something like this and also on the other side, but I still have to machine a part for here, but I already can install this bar, cut it down, put that machine part on there, weld it on, and then we can put the foot pegs on there. No problem with that, but we need to get this bar installed first. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. So here is where the foot peg is gonna be located. It's gonna come out like this, so the kickstand doesn't interfere with it. So we're gonna have to drill a hole in here, which is the easiest part of this whole process because we just need to drill a hole, weld it on there, and then it will be sturdy. Also, the kickstand will be mounted on here, no problem with that. Now the biggest problem that we have with installing this bar is the other side. Now this is the other side. As you've seen before, we cut this whole thing down, moved it inwards, nice and clean. And the foot peg is gonna come a little bit like here. Now we don't have any material here to weld the bar on it, get it all nice and sturdy. So I'm gonna have to make that. And that is the hard part because I have this bracket. Uh, this has to be on here as well. And yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out this whole process. We're gonna drill a hole on the other side, spot weld it on so we can move it around, then align it so it's straight because we want it to be straight. We don't want our foot peg to come over here or something like this. No, we want it straight. So we're gonna have to figure that out, see what we are working with, what we need to do. Hopefully the drilling is precise enough that I can weld it onto here. That would be a lot of help. So when I weld it on here and then I can work it out with this piece off of here, because welding upside down and whatever isn't that fun. But yeah, hopefully everything works out and then we can see where we can mount this bracket, see where the exhaust is gonna be. And once we reattach this bracket, we can put on the exhaust, then we can see where we need to go to the cylinder. But the main problem is this bar right now. This bar needs to be going in today. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mark everything, see where I can drill it. Let's just start the process and hopefully everything goes smoothly and we don't run into many issues.
So the bar is tack welded in there. Let me show you how it looks now. So as you saw, I made this template to make this piece right here. When we slide it on here, you can see what type of shape that I was going for. Cut it off right here, cut it off right here. Make it a nice transition here. Now, why didn't I cut this? Why didn't I do the prep work before? Why did I leave so much material on there? Now, the main reason is for this, for the hanger, for the exhaust hanger. I don't know how I'm gonna mount it. If I'm gonna go low, high or whatever, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. So I want to have enough material that I can build on off. I could cut this away, make this all nice and round, put a lot of time in it and then say, hey, I want this bracket right here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to weld a little piece right here and do all that. So that would be working stupid. And then we, we don't work stupid here. So I'm gonna leave this material if, for example, I want to put it like this. I just need to cut this angle off, weld a little piece on there, and then I can weld on that. I don't have to do all that work. So that is the main reason why there is still so much material right here. Now it's tack welded on this side and on the other side and also right here. Now I could weld this on the bike, but that is a lot of hassle and not a lot of fun. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this whole piece again. Now I'm not gonna disassemble the bike. I'm gonna use a jack. I'm gonna jack up the bike right here. So the tension comes off the spring. I can remove the spring and then I can drop this whole assembly and then I can weld it on my workbench and don't have to worry about the angles I need to hit. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be much more easier. Not gonna film that. You see me tear down the bike many, many times in this video series. So I'm just gonna do it and weld this whole piece until it's completely solid and we can put our feet on here. So the bike is reassembled and the bar for the foot pegs is welded in and it is nice and sturdy just the way I want it. But let me show you my welds. So we're going to focus us on this side because on the other side the CVT cover is, is blocking your view and this has a lot more work in it. As you can see it is nice and sturdy. This is not gonna bend. This is not going anywhere. And this side is so smooth in nice transition with this part. I'm pretty happy about that. Now I welded these sides all the way around, but I didn't weld the inside. I didn't think that was necessary. That is not gonna cause any issues. It's not gonna break. We got good penetration on the bar and on the plate. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now with the foot pegs installed, we can see where our foot position is. And and we can figure out where we are gonna mount this piece, the piece for the exhaust. We have to take into consideration that we need as much room as possible with the feet and the exhaust, but I don't think that is gonna be an issue. I'm gonna have to put it on an angle because I cannot put it straight because I would run into the tire, but I'm gonna have to do a small angle. Of course, I'm gonna have to adjust these guys right here because we're relocating them on the exhaust. But now we have a clear review. I don't know how I'm gonna mount it, where I'm gonna put the bolts, uh, what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm not really sure about all of that, but we will see once we get there. After after we figured that whole thing out, we have all our mounting points. We can clean up this whole piece, reinforce it, because now it's just a plate, but I want to give it a angle, just so I'm gonna cut little strips that I can weld on there to give it that much more strength that it desperately needs, because this is a very important piece with the spring, the foot pegs and the exhaust. It has a lot of pressure on it, so it needs to be good and it needs to be sturdy. Now, next week, I'm gonna focus on this side because the bike has been sitting here for a while now. It's almost been two weeks that it's on this table and I want to get it off. Now, because I've cut up this whole under part, we don't have a stand for it, but we have the kickstand. This is the kickstand that I'm talking about. We modified it in a previous video. You can check that out in the playlist. There will be a link in the description down below for every single playlist of every single bike that I've done. So go check that out. And you can see the video where I modified this kickstand. But now that the bar of the foot packs is on here, we can get this on there. So we can store the bike away not keep it in the shop and it can stand on its own. With the center stand that was a little bit of an issue because it uh, it didn't reach the floor because we put the engine a little bit higher but with the kickstand now we can mount it up here get that correct angle where the 
where we want the bike to sit. Don't know how I'm gonna figure that out, but uh, I will find a way how. So next week we're gonna do that. We're gonna get that kickstand on there and then we have completed the left side of the bike and then we can focus us on the right side because the right side is gonna be a lot of work and I want to take a couple of days and the holidays are almost there so I can work on this bike a couple of days before a video comes out. I want one whole video of me putting on the exhaust knot. Now we're gonna attach the bracket and next week we're gonna attach the brace. No, I want to modify the bracket, get it on the exhaust and get it on the bike in one single video. So I'm gonna take a couple of days to do that and then we can figure out what tubing we need to go from the exhaust to the cylinder head, how we're gonna do it. So that is gonna be it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. And if you're not already subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Get down!